Welcome back. This is Thomas. We're going to take a look at Bitcoin and whether it has bottomed out or not. There's a lot of um, bullish sentiment on uh, crypto Twitter that uh, the bottom has been in and that it's going to go up from here. I think um, we want might want to consider some indi uh, on-chain indicators and uh, see if they confirm that. So let's dive in and take a look. Oh, a lot, some of these, uh, I won't go into detail about what these charts are. Um, I'll be doing that in a different series in the future uh, when I'm, I uh, go into on-chain analysis. For today, we're just gonna look at um, whether it's, the bottom, it's in the bottom or it's confirmed or not. Let's start with the um, BTC Realize uh, HODLer uh, ratio. Um, this one is one of my favorite because it shows kind of like momentum. Um, and here, what you want to do is follow the red line and what it's doing against uh, its peers, the other colorful lines. And um, you can see it, this is good indicator for tops and also bottoms. And what we want to do is take a look at whether it's crossing the uh, the uh, its peers, the other lines, and it's leveling out or accelerating upward. And the slope is really important. Um, so let's take a look at some bottoms and uh, let's find out what's um, happening here. And you can see here, uh, here's a bottom and you can see the red line leveled out and it's below the other uh, its peers. Um, here's a bottom and the red line's below its peers, right around there, see right there, drop below. Same thing here, but we're gonna zoom in. So you can see it better. Actually, before we zoom in, let's take a look at this so you can see what's going on. Um, let's take a look at what happens when it goes up. When it goes up, the red line crosses the rest of the other colorful lines, and then it takes the lead, and it's usually higher than the rest. And then once, and then it will reach a peak. And when it dives down, it dives down below the other colorful lines, and then it starts to get below all of them and then it flans out and gets to a bottom okay so let's zoom in and see what it does at the bottom um let's find a bottom here so here let's here's the bottom so you can see the red, red, the price line's dropping down so the red line drops down goes below all the other lines here's the intersection point drops below all these other colorful lines and then bottoms off and goes along the bottom and then flans, curves out. You can see that right here. There's another bottom right there. We had another bottom here, here. You notice how the red line is below all the other ones and the slope is more horizontal at the bottom. And then when it's, uh, the price starts accelerating, you can see the red line starts accelerating above the rest of the other colorful lines and it rises up. It, it has a slight lag, so we gotta take that into account. Um, and so here it comes down to, uh, let's find a bottom. Here, here's a bottom. Price comes down, red line comes down, crosses all of the other colorful lines, flans out before it accelerates up. Notice the, how it flans out. That's really important. And in all, case, in all these cases, it flans out. But look at what's happening here. Price drops down, red line drops down below all the other colorful lines, and it's still below all the other colorful lines, and it has not begin to flatten out in fact the slope is still really steep so that that's this is one indicator that leads me to believe that um, bitcoin's price has not flattened out yet it could once it starts to turn and then uh you know makes a curve here like there if it starts making a curve okay that's a good confirmation that perhaps we might have reached the bottom and we're starting to go up even though Bitcoin's price here is already starting to go up, that may not last. It could go up and drops back down, up and drops back down. We don't know, but so far the slope is very telling. Let's go to the next chart. This one's kind of busy. Um, this one is a combination of uh, different ones. I think I'm gonna, well, okay, let's, let's go through it anyways. On the top here, uh, so basically, let's, what does it cover? So the blue line is uh, is an RSI measuring some of these other metrics up here. 
the uh, gray line here is the uh, MVRV line that helps measure tops and bottoms. Um, the band up here helps you uh, helps us identify tops and cycle bottoms, and then we have a middle band in the middle. That um, Bitcoin's price, if it stays above uh, or bounces off of it, it still it stays it stays pretty bullish usually. But if it dives down and stays below, that uh, could be bearish uh, for a bearish market. So far, it's been touching down, went down slightly, and went back up. Did it again here and then here. So how do we know when it touched the bottom? Well, MVRV, uh, when it comes near this horizontal gray line here, MVRV indicates a bottom. See here, here's a bottom, here's a bottom, here's another bottom, even though it's far away from this uh, horizontal darker gray line. And the same thing happened with the, the blue line, the spiky blue line. Uh, it helps identify bottom whenever. So here's a bottom, and then the thing is lower than the rest. Here's a bottom right here, and that blue line is towards the bottom. And this one is kind of like a gauge. This horizontal blue line is a good gauge. Um, but so far, it's staying up, and it doesn't always have to come down. It can be up here. Uh, so let's zoom in and find out. So here we go. Here we got the um, blue line here. Uh, so this spiky blue line uh, using RSI, it, you see that it went down and then went back up. So that's kind of bullish, you know. Maybe they touched, made the bottom. The bottom was in right here. That's possible. Um, here you have the price line. You can see it's starting to slowly curve up. And um, the other line is the MVR uh, RV line, which is the gray line here. You can see it went down, and, and this is our right here horizontal line. It's our, where we, you know, it's our gauge. But here it drops down here and flans out. So we, so that's you know that could be an indication that we reached the bottom. Um, it's possible. Uh, let's see, but. Again, uh, on the um, it could be you can see here it went here, it went flat now here, on the um, MVRV line it went flat, drops down. So it could could do something else here. We don't know yet. Um, the same thing with the blue line. The blue line it went up in the past. It went up and drops back down. So I mean, it could be a bottom, but I wouldn't use it. You know, I would use it as like, yeah, it could be, but I would uh, rather use other indicators to uh, confirm it. Uh, let's take a look at the BTC price temperature. Um, let's see here. This one also identifies bottoms. You can see right here, here's a bottom. Uh, oh yeah, the, the dark uh, black gray line here is price. This purple line um, helps us identify tops and bottoms. So here's a bottom. Here's the bottom, bottom here, and then bottom here. So, so far, it's dropping down. You can see that, you see it's dropping down. It's still higher than this previous point. Not as low as this point, not as low as these point, but these points, look at that. Price drop right to this dark blue line here. I mean, that's like uh, cycle bottoms right there. So we're, we're not in a cycle bottom, so we're more towards the green line here. Um, so it could be a bottom, you know, uh, it's potential, it's, but it's still spiking. It hasn't turned around yet. Let's zoom in and see. Yeah. I mean, it's slightly flattening out, but there's no indication that it's going to, um, go up. Same thing here. It flattened out, went up and then dropped back down. So, need more confirmation still. Let's go to the um, BTC value days destroy multiple. This also helps identify uh, bottoms and tops. Uh, let's see here. Here you have a bottom. We went with the green lines where we want to gauge. If it goes below that, that's an alarm that we could be hitting bottom soon. So here is a bottom. Here's a bottom right here, right there. Here's another bottom, and then so far it's trended below the green line, so it's very similar to the other one. Steep slope, 
running down and um, let's zoom in and find out you guys see that right there went down below slope still going down hasn't really ticked back up yet so no confirmation there you can see here it went it went down went horizontal and then start to go back up you see that right there went up this still the slope here is still trending down let's go to the uh, BTC spent volume six months to five years again good indicator for tracking tops and bottom um, doesn't always match up for example here and here because this point is lower but um, you have to adjust for that um, the red line is to track for tops the orange line is when it could be hidden bottoms so you take a look at here here's a bottom right there here's a previous bottom and again similar to the last chart very steep slope going down but it's not as far as these two points or some of these other points before zoom in yeah there's a slope slope still going down price going up slightly uh, we have there's a slight hint of that it could be turning around but it's um it's unsure because here you can see that it kind of flanned out horizontally went down still here so we don't know yet you know so still possible that it could go down some more or it could be a, a bottom indicator no confirm, no firm confirmations yet this one is the uh, BTC NTD adjusted dormancy flow. I believe this one was floating around uh, crypto, crypto Twitter uh, today. Um, you can see here the green line is where our alarm for the bottom is. Um, in the past, it's not below this one, two, three, four, five times, and this is the sixth time. And this time right here is the, um, our current time it's gone below the previous one so but none all the rest have been lower below the green line you see that so that's 25 percent you know one out of no no sorry that's 20 percent one out of five that it matches um could it go down some more yeah you still have what um 80 uh, 80 percent chance that it could go below where it's right now so that's a glimpse using on chain um charts to uh, potentially identify whether we have hit bottom or not in my opinion we maybe um, i'm not 100 percent sure or even 90 percent or 80 percent sure um, there's still a possibility bitcoin could drop further and we want to keep our options open for that possibility and pre be prepared for that um, but if it goes up, hey great we all win right except for the uh, the bears so with that, thank you for joining me and take a look at some of these charts uh, on OnChain. In the future, I'll go through these individually so that you have a better understanding of what they are. For time constraints today, um, it was just best to go see if we hit bottom or not. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't. Click on the bell notification uh, to be notified of new videos. Um, click the thumb up. But if you dislike it, double tap on the thumbs down. Thank you and hope to see you next time. Take care.